knock the back end of this building's fallen down and so we've got to render it and build up these corners so i'll take you around and have a look at it in a minute okay so it's all fallen down we've got to rebuild it okay uh, as you can see this building up here uh, it's had a collapse on this end here it's all been underpinned there uh, and uh, now i am uh, going to start knocking off this plaster these are the pillars we've got to we've got to set them back take them cut them back down here it's sticking out too far so we'll cut it back and smarten the pillars up as you can see up here and the same the other side that's where the original wall was and it uh, all came down so an extension's got to go on here so that's another project here the same here step back step back so we've got to bring it back to there make sure this tie iron's okay and uh, smart the top down here as we come down so there we go we've got to render all this up to the top there so we'll bash on and get on with the job knocking off down here you can see I've got to build all this wall up here that's the tie bar and uh, I've got a step here to block this window up here and then uh, put the top it's pretty bad really so I'll show you that when we come to it for the moment this is what we're knocking off these windows will be re uh, replaced with plastic so on and so forth okay we'll carry on in the bashing off the old gas lamps <laughs> I'm going to build that up now, they've got the wind out. Right, good morning. Uh, what we've got here 
on this uh, old property church got a crack down this uh, wall that we've got to render so I'm going to uh, put some mesh on it and um, here we go I shall mesh it out with that just to, just to protect it a bit and um, another thing is with this old property at the bottom I'll show you it's, um, put the, when you put this up the level we've got a massive gap down here and it goes up like that so uh, what I've done, I've put some strips on like this just to build it out so that I know when we go up the top there you know we've got, got a good measure and then I can see that I need to build it out down here a bit more so as you can see that's where I'm at at the moment I've done the same there I'm going to uh, put some more prep on this wall um, don't just do it on bare brickwork I'm going to put um, this stuff on you can put um, you can put this stuff as well use some of that that's uh, exterior SBR bond uh, that will go waterproof and also this um, render grip as you can see there I'm going to put that on as well to give it a, a good grip for the uh, render to grip to so I'm going to crack on with that now okay so that's where we're at today in the build uh, it's quite a big project so I'll catch you when I'm putting this stuff on okay that's me uh, wire cable in there we go and all this is now um, had the render grip applied as you can see let that dry six hours and then that'll take the next coat Okay, that's it at the end of the day. There we go, that's the bottom bit where it's really deep. And then we'll PVA with a special SBR that go on top of that for later. That's the next job, is putting the first coat on. Good morning, uh, YouTubers. On the uh, property renovation of the old church, and I just want to uh, say that I'm coming down to the bottom now this is a really bad area it's all completely out but I just want to tell you about this kind of uh, special stuff that you can put on the wall uh, it's got grit in it and it's kind of like a masonry paint that goes rock hard so I'm not going to say which company it is because I'm not I'm not advertising for them but it is a special grip that you can put on the wall uh, there's different makes out there but I'd highly recommend it particularly for these old bricks, they undulate, they're in and out, they're all over the place and when you put the render on it just grips it and holds it on, this doesn't fall off, even when there's indents in the wall. So I found that very helpful on this job. Um, even on the block work, I would recommend it for the block work because it pulls off the block work as you know when you're rendering. Um, it doesn't always stick to it. it, it can pull off on your trowel or it can slide. So uh, Ren, this, this, this gripping um, paintwork that you can put on is first class. Um, I've also SBR'd it where it's dry in different places where I've had some profiles on the wall. Uh, I, put, I put lines up the wall of, of, of cement just to get me levels out which I, I don't need now. But well, I've knocked them off and where I've knocked them off I have actually put SBR, external PVA. Uh, which is good. It's a kind of special PVA that's for for outside work. Don't use ordinary PVA. Seemingly that can turn to water, uh, glue again when it's under when it gets damp. So I'm going to crack on now with this. And show you as I go. My uh, mixture is nice and plenty of airy, plenty of lime in it. Lime really helps this rendering sand. Uh, so I put a little bit extra lime in on this one. Um, just to help it to be a lot smoother as we go. See how it holds to the wall? Simply holds on fantastic. It doesn't slide off. Always use um, a board that's close to you, easy to get off. This church, the back end collapsed, it's been underpinned and 
it was left derelict basically and so we're helping the church out and the members out because of friends and trying to do a good job and get this place sorted ready for opening in June. I even put SPR into the mix, it helps it to stick. It also is a waterproofing agent too. With these old properties, these nine inch walls, water just goes straight through. So the other side is going to be tanked, but I also like to give a uh, protection on this outside as well. People start in, in different different ways, different areas. Do it as 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 you as it suits you. Yesterday finished. I finished yesterday there. Uh, we're coming through right through to the. Maybe I can show you a bit further up. And that's where we were yesterday. It's all coming down nicely. I'll do the pillars next. Here we go. 